Sure, this is a very famous accident, you know, a very famous uh, cock-up, I suppose, in, in, in mountaineering history. Um, and this was, it was a long time ago, um, 30 years ago this year. And I was a very, I was a very young man, so really before this, um, I'd done very little alpinism, you know, I'd done some alpinism here in the Alps, um, and this was my first visit to a, uh, big mountains, proper mountains in, in, in a developing country. Um, and obviously, this expedition didn't go particularly well. <laughs> That's an understatement, a British understatement there. Um, and um, I guess after that, I went on to do a lot of exploratory mountaineering in very many different parts of the world. Um, in Pakistan, after this, for a long, for many years, in the late 1980s and early 1990s. Um, and then I got involved in big wall climbing um, in uh, South America predominantly. Um, and then I went back to, to mountains. Um, I, I became a, a mountain guide, you know, I take people on commercial expeditions. Um, and most recently, uh, I've become increasingly uh, drawn to, to very remote mountain wilderness, um, to places like uh, the Cordillera Darwin in Tierra del Fuego um, and to, to Greenland. So this is where I've, my recent climbing for myself has been in places like this. No, I think, I think films, films always make stories bigger um, because a lot of people, I mean this story, the, 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 the Joe Simpson and my story was a, was a big story from quite early on because Joe wrote uh, his book. Um, which was published in 1988. I don't know when it was published in Italy, but probably quite soon after that. And um, this was a very popular book. Um, it then took a long time, really, to be made into a into a film. That various people looked at making a film out of it, um, and they they stopped in the end because they, they they didn't think it could make it work. And really, this film, I think, it perhaps can only work in the format that they did it in um, as a as a dramatised documentary or as a documentary, it's never going to work well as a, as a movie type film because movies rely on, they rely on dialogue between people and obviously for the key part of this story, Joe and I are separate, so we're not talking to each other. Um, so I think that's why this film works well um, and films bring, they bring anything to a bigger audience because a lot of people can't be bothered to read books, they, it's easier to watch to watch television, to watch images and, and, and to, to learn about a story that way. I'm very careful and I'm very selective about the, the, the companion I take to go and climb mountains. Um, also, it, it just, by nature of you getting older, it gets more difficult to find a climbing partner anyway to go to Mount because a lot of your friends have stopped climbing um, or sadly I've had you know a number of friends killed over the years um, and so yeah, there just aren't the pool of people available to go and climb mountains, um, but I am very careful. I'm, I, I want somebody I know that I can trust who's a very good, um, safe climber, but also I want somebody, um, and this is equally if not more, it's probably more important, I want somebody I know I'm gonna uh, be comfortable with, that, that I can get on with, that, so that if we do have problems, uh, it's going to be much easier to sort them out. Uh, if, you, if you can, you know, uh, <laughs> If you can have a dialogue with somebody without shouting at each other, you know, without losing your tempers, this is much, much better in a, um, in a, in a stressful situation.